Hey everybody, it's me, Sandy, and I'm back with another nail art video. This time we're going to be using these four gorgeous polishes from the Hollow Hookup February box, as well as some stamping supplies from Clear Jelly Stamper to create this fun Valentine's Day manicure. The polishes that I'm using today will be Smooches from Glistening Glow, XOXO from Cupcake Polish, Forever from Different Dimensions, and Wink from Beyond the Nail. Beyond the Nail is their guest polish creator this month. Now this video is not sponsored, but I do love to feature these really great hollow pigment polishes from these indie polish creators. They do a great job putting this box together every month and I will have the link in the description box. The other thing that I'm going to be using today is my new stamping plate. Uh, I can't get it. There we go. My new stamping plate from Clear Jelly Stamper. This is one of the new Valentine's plates. It's called Show the Love and I will be using a myriad of um, different stamping polishes. So I haven't had a chance to plan this out. I did order the plate late and I decided last night to give myself gel nail extensions because you know I've watched a couple YouTube videos. I, it, it shouldn't have been too hard, right? I don't think I actually did that bad, but that's another video. And I will be uploading this video hopefully in time for Valentine's Day. It is February 13th today. So February 14th, of course, is only one day away and I'm not so great at um, getting my videos up really quickly. So I'm working on that. I'm going to really try and edit this video and, and get it up today. If not, um, definitely sometime tomorrow. So it is up for Valentine's Day. As always, I'll feature it on Instagram. So um, hopefully you get a chance to see this before Valentine's Day. If not, pick up this plate for next year. It's so pretty and I'll probably use a lot of these throughout the year not just for Valentine's Day. So before I continue to bore you let's just get started. So I'm going to start off with a base coat my Anchor by Zoya before we start putting on those wonderful hollow polishes. I am going to do my left hand sorry my right hand using my left hand off camera. And my kitty wants some attention. Oh, what is it, Samantha? My ragdoll kitty. She's a ragdoll Siamese cross. She's crying. Okay, I'm gonna let these dry. I'm gonna clean off my polish bottle neck like I always do. I never show you that. Really important. It was a trick that I learned from an esthetician uh, years and years and years and years ago so that you keep your polishes fresh. Now, I do use this all the time, multiple times a week. So I don't think I really need to worry about the neck of this, but I just do it as a habit. I do it with all my polishes. I think it's really important to save them. Anyways, I'll be right back once this is dry, and then we'll get on to painting on some pretty colors. So I realized here that I had actually forgotten to hit record before I had to put on the smooches by Glistening Glow onto my pinky, but I'm going to now put that on my thumb, and then I'm going to follow that up with that gorgeous polish from Cupcake Polish, the XOXO, onto my ring finger. Then I'm going to put the um, beautiful Forever from Different Dimensions onto my middle finger. And then the Guest Polish from Beyond the Nail, Wink, onto my index finger. I am going to put a second coat on that, and then when that's all dry, it'll be time for top coat.
So I am putting on a coat of Sesh Feet, which is a fast drying top coat. I just think it leaves a much smoother surface for stamping than just the surface of your nail polish alone. Especially anything with glitter or hollow, it might be a little bit textured and it's easier to stamp on a smooth surface. So now that my polish is dry, I have played with my left hand with the stamping plates. I did use this one for that for a little bit and put some hearts on that are a little bit hard to see. Um, today, because I didn't test this out before I started, unfortunately my poor little left hand or right hand became my test hand. So now I see what colors will actually show up on what colors and I kind of like how I double stamped that with different colors. So we'll see. This one. I think the letters are too busy and take away from the gorgeous smooches that's under there. So I mean, just a little bit of stamping seems to be better. So I'm not sure that I'm going to use this one on my right hand, but or my left hand, <laughs> using my right hand to do my left hand. Anyways, um, yeah, I had I get Botox for migraine injections every three months, and today was injection day. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so totally with it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just put this plate off to the side because wow, do I have a lot of stuff here. I have this lovely plate. I have my amazing Twinkle Tea cotton ball picker upper. I love this thing. I just used it today for the first time. So I have cleaned this with um, my, um, I use OPI polish remover. I do have pure acetone, but I don't want to use that on the plate. So I'm using Expert Touch Lacquer Remover. I will use pure acetone on this if I find that I'm getting a lot of buildup. Oh, you can still see it's still dirty from doing my other hand. Let's grab this and, isn't this thing cool? I'm having so much fun with all the tools. Oh, that's better, okay. Got all the yuck off of there. Maybe I should clean this thing too. Where's my little scraper? I do have other plates other than Clear Jelly Stamper. I just um, really wanted to feature this one and I'm thinking that what I should have done, my little cotton ball picker upper, what I should have done is used um, a plain white or polish or whatever to do this, but I really, really, really wanted to use my hollow hookup. So, you know, we just do what we do. So in the effort of time, I'm just going to narrate this part instead of have you listen to me prattle on. I've uh, just decided to start with my middle finger. I'm going to do the same kind of design that I had done on my other hand. I'm using that light pink. I'm going to lay some polish down. I'm going to press and hold that plate down while lightly scraping the plate, roll the stamper on, and stamp it onto my nail. At least that's the plan. What you will see even in the fast forward sequences is that sometimes I wait too long to pick the image up or I have the image on my stamper and I wait too long to put it on my nail and then the image doesn't um, hit my nail right. What I do in that case is take a piece of transparent or scotch tape and try and lift the image off my nail if I had put a gel top coat over my polish first, I could have just used some non-acetone polish remover, but um, for some reason I didn't do that, and I that probably would have been my best best bet. But I have found a way of, of trying to lift it off, and if my image isn't perfect, it's not the end of the world. I mean, I am a little bit where I like everything to be just perfect, but this is art, so it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be fun. Now I am struggling with this more than usual today and I'm putting that down to the fact that I'm not feeling the greatest because I have had my migraine injections and I'm explaining myself and not picking up the, the image right away or not putting the image on my nail right away. And if you are continuously having a problem where the image isn't picking up properly or you're not getting enough time to place it on your nail, a suggestion that I got from Clear Jelly Stamper was to get some nail lacquer thinner and just thin it up a bit. But just remember, you can always redo what you've just done. Sometimes I stamp over something twice because I've messed up the first stamp and I want to fix it. And then nobody ever knows, other than the fact that I show it on a video, 
You'll also see me cleaning off my clear jelly stamper head with a piece of scotch tape. A lot of people use a lint roller, but I have issues with that. I have found scotch tape to be the best. Now I do have a ton of it stuck to my tripod right now that I have to take off later, but that's okay. It's a process. I have tweezers. It'll work. You can also use a nail polish remover that's either acetone free or low, like really low in acetone that doesn't have any added moisturizers in it on the stamper head, but it can cause it over time to get a little yellow and, and be a little cloudy, so it's not as easy to see through, but I've not had an issue with mine yet. So you are going to see me just finish up the rest of the stamping on the rest of my nails. I did have to do some images a couple times because my hand has either slipped or I didn't know where I was placing it and I waited too long or I didn't pick up the image right or I didn't push the plate down before I scraped it. I mean stamping is a process. It is There is a bit of a learning curve. Um, I thought I had already you know, crossed over that curve and learned but uh, apparently tonight not so much. So I'm just going to finish up the stamping and uh, let it dry a little bit and then be back to put on another coat of top coat. Okay, so because it's getting late, I'm just going to put on some Sesh Vite again instead of my Zoya top coat. And just remember when you're dealing with a stamp design to always make sure you float your top coat. That is, put a nice big, a large amount on your brush, put it on kind of thick, and don't let the brush bristles actually scrape across your design, and then your design won't smear. Because you sure don't want to mess up all that hard work. So here is my finished manicure using the February Hollow Hookup Box polishes as well as my new Clear Jelly Stamper stamping plate, Show the Love. And uh, I think it turned out okay. It wasn't exactly what I was originally planning, but I'm pleased with the results. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, if you could please go down and hit that like button, as well as hit subscribe and the post notification bell so you can find out when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.